So I got a question asking whether we can select a precise range on our timeline using shortcuts. So the answer is yes. And essentially the way that we do this is by selecting one frame on from the get-go. So by marking an in and out point exactly the same spot. So I've pressed I and O on my keyboard to mark an in and out point at this spot. And you can see that's selected exactly one frame. And then if I press the plus key or the equals key and type in 4.29, so I'm adding four seconds and 29 frames to that one frame, which is now gonna make that selection four seconds and 29 frames long. Now with the drop frame, the 29.97 frames, we sometimes have to add an extra frame to that. So what you'll notice is if you start your selection in different spots, on your timeline, so I'll mark an I and O here, and then plus 4.29, I get exactly five seconds where I got four seconds of 29 frames before. So sometimes you'll have to adjust that selection as you go through. So let's try that again. We'll try a three second selection. So I'll mark an in point and an out point at exactly the same spot, press plus, and then we'll type in 2.29 and we'll get an exactly three second selection. So you can see there's a little bit of variability because in my sequence settings here and the video that I shot, I'm working at 29.97 frames per second. And if you're working at 60 frames per second, then you may find you need to adjust that. But essentially we can make that selection. So if I press I and then O, and then I wanna make a 10 second selection, I can press plus 10 period, and it's gonna make a 10 second and one frame selection so I just need to now press minus one without the period, and it will subtract one frame from that selection uh, from the end here. So we can be really precise with the selections that we've made. And obviously once we've made that selection, we can delete it, we can copy it and paste it, and we can do a variety of other things with it. But the important thing is, is that we can make that very precise selection of a time range so plus 3.29 will give us four seconds at this point in time. So that's how to make a very precise selection on your timeline of a range of your clip.